Hey, we're going to talk about Bacopa Manir, a nootropic basically great for the brain to improve enhancement of mental health, as well as people with ADHD, depression, and anxiety. So let's talk about it right after this intro. Hey, welcome back to the nootropic series. I am Dr. Legrand, and welcome back, my Ultimate Mind performers and Ultimate Mind leaders. And guess what? So we're going to be talking about Bacopa Manir. It's a great type of herb that can be helpful for the brain. And I'm going to talk about three things and three areas that it basically can. So the very first one is it does or at least may can help in, in some areas with ADHD symptoms. So let's talk about a little bit of some studies that actually had to deal with using Bacopa for ADHD. The very first study actually took 31 children with ADHD ages between 6 and 12, and they took 225 milligrams of Bacopa extract for, you know, like I said, for six months. They did this daily, and what they found when they were taking this daily is, compared to the placebo uh, group, control group, is that they were able to improve restlessness, impulsive behavior, attention. Uh, they also found that, you know, memory enhancement was actually improved in these aspects as well with the children in about 85% of the children. And they also found in another study, they took 120 different children and they used Bacopa in an herbal blend mix. Basically, the Bacopa had at least 125 milligrams in a combination of an herbal blend, something that I do with my patients. And what they found when they actually started implementing this in the children, they found that there was improvement in self-control, in attentiveness, and impulsive behavior, and also in cognition. Now, this may or may not work for you. In fact, I don't see it work for every single one of my patients either using Bacopa just because these studies have 85% and stuff like that. I would say those are a lot lower. Uh, you know, to keep your expectations on when you're actually implementing any kind of herbal stuff. It doesn't work for everybody. It has to be more individualized care that I do all the time with my patients. But, you know, it's something to look at is looking at Bacopa possibly helping reducing ADHD symptoms. The second way that Bacopa can be helpful for mental health is it can help with reducing anxiety. It can. Not in all aspects, but it may be possible where it can actually reduce anxiety because what Bacopa can do is actually help elevate the mood but also decrease cortisol. So cortisol is something that our adrenals release. Cortisol is something that produces energy for us. It's a hormone that helps us give us energy, kind of wakes us up in the morning and kind of keep us alive throughout the day and then decreases at night so that we fall asleep. Now for some people, these cortisol levels can be really spiked, really too high. And these are when people are a little bit more on edge and are very stressed out and tend to have anxiety episodes uh, where they have panic attacks or they just tend to be always on edge. And so Bacopa has been shown to where it can actually reduce those cortisol levels as well as kind of help with the mood balance in that aspect. Now, there was a study done where they measured looking at Bacopa. They did it through 12 weeks of taking Bacopa, about 300 milligrams of Bacopa. And what they found with these adults that were dealing with stress and anxiety, they were able to reduce their anxiety and stress and be able to actually help with also cognition when they were implementing this and we're able to help improve with depression versus people with a placebo. So again, you always have to realize that just because it might work in a study, it depends on the sample size. So this wasn't as big of a sample size. So I think more expansion of longer studies of also long-term as well as looking at a bigger sample size need to be done. But I do implement this in my own practice and I do see it beneficial for a good amount of my patients but not everybody. Now, the third way that actually Bacopa can be helpful, and hence that's why it's actually in the nootropic category, is that it can help with brain functionality, improve upon that. But looking further deep into different studies as well on this, is they did another study on, a, on adults, it was a 12-week span. They also took 300 milligrams of Bacopa, but they wanted to see how well it actually worked with their learning aspect. And what they did find after 12 weeks is that their visual learning speed was improved. Also, the, on top of that, their learning rate was improved upon that. And even their cognition did seem to actually improve as well when they went through that 12-week span versus the placebo group. So those are the top three ways that I think, you know, Bacopa can be very beneficial for mental health to be able to, one, help with ADHD, two, help with anxiety and depression, and then, of course, three, to be able to enhance your brain functionality. Now, 
just because the studies have shown that it helps for some people, it's not gonna help for everybody. But it's something to look into, and as always, you should check with your doctor first before implementing anything new to your treatment plan. And if you are new and you're just coming on the nootropic basically series, you can check out the playlist of the other nootropic series of videos that I talk about here. And if you also want to know more further information as far as when it comes to actually nutrients to implement, supplements to implement for your HD and what labs to run, I have a free guide that you can download in the description below, one for adults as well as one for parents who have kids with ADHD. Until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. And remember, you have an awesome mind. Thanks. Bye.